people have always asked me, what was a big contributor to your success? I can tell you this. The truth of the matter is, coaching played a huge part of my success. I hired my first coach at the age of 20. Her name was Kathleen Klein with TCMI. She was at the Galleria. She was a career coach and I can never forget her. I remember spending $5,800 I didn't have. In fact, I got on a payment plan through GE Financing. I remember looking at the gentlemen coming out of their office and they were all middle-aged white males and I would sometimes wonder, what am I doing here? I thought I was crazy. In fact, when I would tell my mom who was, and my family who were in Hawaii and my friends, they would laugh and they were like, why are you spending all that money? You're not even in, in, in your career yet. You're still in school. She convinced me that hiring her is going to allow me to be ahead of the curve and she will help me differentiate myself from my peers. And guess what, my friends? She did. At the end of my senior year, I had over six offers, good offers. In fact, she helped me with my interviewing skills. She helped me with my resume. She helped me as far as defining my career path. And at that time, I wanted to be a VP of sales and marketing. And I definitely got to that place a lot quicker than I would have if I followed what everybody else did. In fact, when I could compare myself with a lot of my classmates in the past, I went ahead of the time as far as the timing goes i'm way ahead than where they are and it's not because i'm just this genius it's because i had coaches one of the things she introduced me to that a lot of people don't know is she actually introduced me to linkedin before it is the way it is now you know, a lot of the things that LinkedIn charges now as far as like connecting and um, sending email to people that are, you know, not within your network and they're charging you, that used to be free. All of those used to be free. And I refused to pay for a premium charge for something that was free. Anyway, back to my story. <laughs> Since then, I have hired numerous coaches. Yes, I paid for each and every one of them. Yes, I spent thousands and thousands of dollars, and yes, they were worth every penny. Yes, it did hurt me financially at that time, but it allowed me to know things that I would have not known if I didn't have a coach. I've hired a finance coach, a mind coach, a speaking coach, a coaching coach, a business coach, a divorce coach, and the list goes on. In fact, right now, even though I am a coach, I have eight coaches. But I can tell you this, having them in my back pocket saved me a lot of time, heartache, money, and stress because I didn't make the same mistakes I would have if I didn't have them to give me a different perspective. So why am I sharing this with you? If you're facing a roadblock in your business or personal life, do yourself a favor. Hire a coach. A coach that you feel comfortable with, someone you trust, one who you feel you can stir you the right path and can show you things that you cannot see. Everyone needs a coach, no ifs, ands, or buts. A lot of billionaires, millionaires, famous people, and the most successful entrepreneurs all have coaches. Trust me, I've read numerous books, I've studied these guys, I've done my research, they all have coaches. There is no way that you can have everything figured out. Our minds are limited based on our own personal experience, which is why we need outside perspectives to give us a different view on our situations. So if you really want to grow into your full potential, you need to be humble enough to admit that you don't have all the answers. No one does, unless you are God. <laughs> but the best part 
is with the internet nowadays and there's numerous networks and the countless resources we have available with a touch of our fingertips, you can find the right coach for you. Don't delay. Make a choice now. Stop being stubborn and take the step towards the right direction. I can promise you this. Take it from someone who made six figures by the time she turned 25. You will not regret it. You will not regret it.